This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Uh, this time, we'll look at the third uh, technique, if that's the right word, which is make or buy decisions. So this is on um, exercise four. So again, have a read with me. The availability of material B is limited to 8,000 kilos. Uh, well, that's very interesting, except of no immediate relevance, but so let's read the rest of it. Uh, we're making three products, X, Y, and Z. We told them uh, what the demand is, 2,000, 2,000, 4,000. Uh, we know what the variable cost is uh, per unit. And jumping a bit, we know how many kilos of this material that's limited, how many kilos we require for each unit. And before I talk about the uh, line I jumped over, uh, uh, clearly we would want to produce to meet demand. But if we did, uh, then X, Y, Z, uh, X, 2,000 units, Y, 2.5, Z, 4. Uh, but how much material do we need? X needs 3 kilos per unit, uh, Y needs 2, Z needs 1. And therefore, we'd need a total of 15,000 kilos. Uh, and there's where the limit becomes relevant. We've only got 8,000 kilos. Uh, we can't possibly, therefore, uh, produce to meet demand by ourselves. Now, were it not for one missing line, We'd obviously have to restrict production of uh, one or more of the uh, products. Uh, but it turns out uh, that line I jumped over, there's a buy-in price. Instead of making it ourselves, we could buy the units from elsewhere. So product X, for instance, we either make ourselves and it costs $10 a unit, or alternatively, we could buy a uh, product X from elsewhere. It'll cost more, it'll cost 13 a unit. Now, I am going to assume that the selling price of all these products is higher for all of them. Let's assume that the selling price of all the products is, oh, let's say $20 for each product. So we'll still be profitable is what I'm getting at. In product X, if we make ourselves, we pay 10 and we sell for 20, it's profitable. Uh, if instead we buy from outside, okay, we pay more, we pay 13, but if we can still sell for 20, it's still profitable. So they're still going to be profitable, and therefore, since it's more expensive to buy from outside, the more we can produce ourselves, the better. But given we can't produce them in full, we haven't got enough material, what's going to happen? We'll produce what we can ourselves. Those we can't produce, we'll buy from outside. Which makes sensible. But the problem is, which way around shall we do it, you know? Shall we produce X ourselves and buy Y from outside? Or might it be better to produce Y ourselves, but buy X from outside? We need to decide, we want to fulfil demand, we know how much uh, we want, we're going to sell, but how many units of each shall we make ourselves, and how many units of each shall we buy from outside? And the way we approach it is something you might recognise from a much, much earlier chapter, when we have limiting factors. What we do is this, with three products, Clearly, we're always better if we could to make ourselves, it's cheaper. But let's see, how much saving do we make if we do make ourselves? Saving per unit to make ourselves. Our product X, buy outside is 13, make ourselves is 10. We'll save $3 a unit, 
that I'm making ourselves. Uh, product Y, 17 is against 12, making ourselves would save us $5 a unit. And Product Z, uh, 16 is against 14, we'd save $2 to make ourselves. Now clearly, um, the best will be where we save the most, but remember it's kilos that are limited, so we need to work out how much per kilo of the limited material will we save if we make ourselves instead of buying outside. So how many kilos are needed per unit? Uh, X to save three dollars needs three kilos. Y to save five dollars needs two kilos. Z needs one. And therefore the saving per kilo of the limited material. Uh, X three over three. We save a dollar per kilo if we use it to make X. If we use it to make Y, we'll save two dollar fifty a kilo. If we use it to make Z, well, every kilo used to make Z saves us two dollars. So where would we be best using our material? Best would be to use it making Y. Every kilo I use saves me two dollar fifty. Uh, second best would be Z and save two dollars. Third best would be X and save a dollar. So now we can work through and decide how many we'll produce of each and as a result how many we'll buy outside. Uh, what shall we produce? Um, we've already said the one we, uh, that gives us the biggest saving is Y, and so we'll produce as many Ys ourselves as we possibly can. Uh, we're not going to produce, obviously, more than we can sell, so the maximum we can sell is 2,500 units. Have we enough material? Well, each one takes two kilos. So yes, we do have enough material available. We'll therefore produce Y entirely ourselves. Uh, we've still got 3,000 kilos left over. Remember the total available was 8,000. So the balance. Uh, so we can still carry on making more units ourselves. We can't make more Ys because we wouldn't sell them. So we'll go to the next space, which was Z and make as many Zs as we can. Uh, again, you know, there's no way we'd make more than 4,000 because we wouldn't sell them. But in fact, we don't have enough material to make 4,000. Uh, each Z takes one kilo, and therefore, whoops, uh, we're only able to make 3,000 units. So that's how we'll um, use the 8,000 kilos We'll produce two and a half thousand Ys and we'll produce three thousand Zs. That's all we're capable of producing, but it'll give us the biggest saving. Any others will buy outside. And so, how many will we buy outside? Remember, I was assuming everything could be sold for more than the cost. I said, assume twenty dollars a unit. Uh, and so, it's still worth. Even pay more, still buying outside. So we buy ourselves, we won't buy any Ys because we've already met demand. We will buy more Zs. We can sell 4,000. We're producing 3,000. So we'll buy 1,000 units of Z externally. Uh, and finally, X. We're not producing any Xs ourselves. Demand is 2,000. We'd buy 2,000 externally. And there we are. So there's how many we should make and how many units we should buy. And so a nice one. That is uh, obviously rather different from um, pure relevant costing. Um, it's more a limiting factor problem.
but I can't remember which chapter it was in. The same chapter as throughput and chaotic. Anyway. All right, there we are. So that was chapter 12. One more chapter, and then we've completed the syllabus. But um, obviously, we'll do that separately. <laughs>